communication seems so key. Uh, some of our listeners are, you know, having to do furloughs or layoffs and so many difficult decisions. And so um, how does crisis um, uh, change or impact uh, the need for communication or how you communicate? Uh, is there a difference? Yeah, I, I think there, there is a difference. And I think it's, it's um, the difference is, you know, the time, usually there's a compressed time in a crisis. There's some jolt of something that's happening that's going to require you to, you know, change how you do things or, you know, um, you, you know, so it's a, it's a, to me, it's a time compression of time to get things done, but the leadership skills, you know, if you've been doing on a daily basis, leading people in a way with dignity and respect that you trust them, that you care about them, um, then it's going to be a lot easier that you've been open and honest, that you've been inclusive in all of your teammates, you establish that, you know, rapport with them, you show them that you value them as members of the team beforehand, when the, when the, the switch gets flipped and there's a crisis, then that, you can slide into that a lot easier because they know, well, I know General West and I know that, you know, she wouldn't be doing this unless it was absolutely necessary um, because that's how she's been before. You have to communicate in ways that you, you never have before. And I don't just mean by the mechanism, like uh, virtual, but you have to reach out to people more. You can't be passive and wait for them to talk to you. You need to reach out to them. If it's pick up the phone, if it's send them a text. And you, you also have to make sure that you tailor it to the needs of the people that you're communicating with.